Okay, so we're here at Nihon Daira Zoo today. Um, let's see what we can find today. I want to talk about um, if animals have Buddha nature today or not. Alright, let's go! a lot of uh, one that talks about you know about if there is uh, Buddha nature within a dog for instance and is it something Buddha nature is something special to humans and there's a lot of different approaches and thoughts in terms of that but let me share you my thoughts on this but before that let me explain to you what Buddha nature is so let's put it simple the act of compassion or you know thinking about other people or other things before yourself so uh, let's say you're dead tired from work let's say you're sitting down on a bus going back home or on a train and then you have someone coming in with a cane and there's I think two things you can do one just ignore pretend you're sleeping or the other one is to let you let go of your seat and you let the other person sit in. So, the question is, does animal have such things? It is what the koan is trying to make you think. your mind at right is your mind if your mind is clouded to think whether or not an animal has with the nature or not maybe perhaps your mind is kind of clouded in a way of not being able to see things as they should be so cultivate your mind see a lot of different things and I hope that um, you can understand more about the true meaning of whether or not animal have with the nature or not. All right. So if you like these kind of um, videos, please like and subscribe, and please share with your friends. And we'll see you at the next episode. See you.